What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. This is episode three now on the series. We are picking up exactly where we left off previously at the teacups, and what I think we're going to be doing today is adding yet another ride to our amazing theme park here. And what I think we're going to end up doing, you guys will notice, we are actually making money now. So we have a huge line out front of Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. We have a decent line out front of Chief Beef. Obviously, we don't have a vendor at the Hot Dog Squad right now. But as soon as they get off a break, they'll come back and start working yet again. Something else that we're going to need to do is sort of reconfigure this little sitting area. I've noticed that these benches do get filled up pretty quickly. So we're going to have to add a couple more of those. Something that I did off camera is try to adjust this back section of paths here. The people were kind of walking right through walls and they still sort of do but it's not near as bad if you have a group of people they won't do it but a single person will just go straight through this wall and i'm i'm not really feeling that i'd, I'd like for people to actually just walk on the paths and and not you know go through walls you know just a thought so with 3100 bucks well now just three thousand dollars in our bank account i'm gonna hit pause here the ride that i want to be installing this one is a lot taller than the hyper jump right here but ascendance look at that monster this is always one of my favorite rides to go on in a theme park but i don't want to spend 2200 dollars to get there i'd rather spend 1900 on a slightly smaller one that doesn't hold near as many people i don't think now maybe maybe it holds the same amount of people six chairs on this side and seven chairs on this side okay so this one does hold more people but it is more expensive and a little bit larger i'm gonna go with this one right here this is hyper jump and i'm gonna try to place it right in between these paths right here i think right there should probably be a good spot so i want to expand this section right here and to do that i'm sure we'll probably just add another one of these buildings maybe right here or something along those lines for this ride we're not going to be able to use the same queue that we had from wild blue or from now teacups so we're gonna have to create a brand new queue i think i'm just gonna time lapse that process but let's add a entrance first we have to figure out where people are going to enter into this ride and i think we're going to do it on the back side over here and then for the exit I think right over here should probably probably be a good spot. Let's try to do that right there, and then we'll try to connect up our path from here to here. I don't know if that's going to work, though. That's the problem. Maybe if we get a path started right here, we'll be able to connect it that way. There we go. Yeah, that worked. No problem. We can add a little bit of scenery in there as well. But the queue itself, I think we're going to take off of this path. So we're going to have to bring this out a little bit more make our path width 30 sorry 33 again we'll turn angle snap back on we had that turned off so we could finish the queue for the teacups bring the path out just a little bit more all right so let's see how do we want to do this we could have people enter over here have a little scenery right there and then immediately bring it this way oh wait we're using the wrong path what am i doing we gotta switch paths we gotta get the queue path here the wooden path we'll do the same thing we had before bring that out like this now I think this queue is gonna have to be a little bit bigger than the other one so maybe we'll bring it out to here and then start looping it around I think we'll be able to get away with using just a ooh this is this is not gonna work right here we're gonna have to back it up one but I think we'll be able to get away with j using just a little bit of scenery around this one okay loop it back up this way yeah this should work out perfectly there we go so that is our cue for the hyper jump. Isn't that what it's called? Now I've completely forgotten. Yes, hyper jump. Okay, we have to add a little bit of scenery around here. We have, I think, zero. Wow, that's surprising. We have six from, I don't even know what. Maybe this scenery over by the con concession stand? I really don't know. But we have a prestige level of 449 right now with a Q scenery rating of 6%. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the time lapse here and I'll see you guys when I'm finished.
Okay, well that didn't take too long. I figured it'd take a little bit longer than that, but I did add a little bit of scenery over in this section over here. We got some little barrel potters that I didn't even know existed until just now. We have a, another little plant potter right there. Now, moving over into the queue itself, I think it looks okay. We don't have a ton of, uh, of dead space here. I do like this midsection, how it is nice and open. And I didn't want to add very many trees up at the front because I want you to be able to see the ride from the path. You can also see the ride from the backside over here next to the concession stand. So I think that'll work out pretty well. But we are down to $555. So we spent quite a bit getting this thing up to 100% Q scenery rating. So the prestige for this is only $449. But... I almost wonder if we shouldn't try to change some of this stuff and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to increase that prestige level. So let's see what we got going on here. I'm gonna say, why don't we try one of everything? We'll do free fall, then bungee, then shot, then panorama, then bounce, then high pulse, sorry, high pause. And I think that is the last one. No, a low pause and then hop. So we're gonna have to test this thing out and we'll see if that helps it at all. But we do have a pretty long queue. So I feel like even if the ride length is, you know, lengthy, I think the actual queue length will be sufficient enough to get people in through the front. So let's go ahead and test this thing out. We'll see what we're looking like. Everywhere else in the park doing really, really well. We're still profiting. We're still making a profit on the park. So I don't see any issues there. Wild Blue's still looking good. We did have to decrease the price because the, the prestige level started to go down. Now the reputation is established. So we lost a little percentage there. But 879 isn't anything to cry about. So I lowered it down to 25 bucks. It seems like people are still paying to get in there. Q length is a little shorter than it normally is, but I also think that is because we now have the teacups. And let's see, let's check in on the teacups actually, make sure people are loving it. I'm not queuing that long to go on the teacups. Well, the price is pretty high. We could go up to $11 to maybe slow up the Q length. Let's try 11 buckaroonies and let's see if that might slow up the Q a little bit. Prestige is at 373. All right. Let's check in on Hyper Jump. Dude, this thing would be so cool. Ooh, you know what else we could do while we're waiting? Let's recolor this. So ride color right here, what does that change? Is that the, that's the poles. Okay, so the poles I'm thinking we should do maybe a bright green. What's a lime green look like? Ooh, that looks crazy, I like that. And then let's see, should we do, this was orange. Orange is like the mid beams. Let's try to do another green color. We'll do a lighter green. We'll do like a yellow green-ish color, maybe more yellow. There we go, okay. Like a gasoline green, I think is what that's normally called. What is this yellow? The yellow is right there on the side. I'm not sure what that is. Does it change anything up top? Yellow is the very top. It's got some lights up here too, that's pretty neat. Yeah, if we make that black, okay, that changes a lot. Maybe we should do that white then, since that's the top. But I don't know if that really goes along with green very well. Or we could do a dark green. Let's try that. And then the red is the center shaft. So we could do that white or black. I think black's gonna look pretty good. Let's go with black on the center shaft. I think that looks pretty nice. Testing is over, let's see what we got. An 892, dude, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, let's go ahead and open this sucker up change the uh the ticket price was nine let's try 18 let's see if people are willing to pay 18 bucks to get into this thing operator color we're again gonna use the i think gasoline green probably for his hat let's zoom in on him a little bit so we can kind of see what we're doing are people paying to get in oh yeah let's see what this group of people does oh dude they're all about it this is sweet okay this is gonna be a good ride Let's see, we need to change his shirt color to the lime green. And then we'll do black pants and black belt. Does that work? Or maybe we should do, maybe we should do white pants. Yeah, let's do white pants, black belt, black shoes. That looks pretty good to me. No music on this one, I'm cool with that. 
The music honestly kind of gets annoying. We'll change it to full load, zero wait time, and there we go. All right. We will let people start getting on here. Should we uh, should we focus in on someone? Let's do let's do this dude with the with the multicolor afro. First person mode. I want to see what this thing's all about. This looks like it'd be really really fun. All right, gate has closed. Arms are coming down, and we are going up. Okay, so our feet are off the ground, and now we're just gonna. Okay, it's a very slow crawl, apparently. Can we look around here? Oh, yeah, we can. He's already freaking out. Dude, we're not even going fast. Look at his lip quivering. I think you're on the wrong ride, dude. That's one hell of a mustache, though. Okay, free fall drop. It's not bad. I'll give it that. But this dude is just wigging out for no reason. It is not near as crazy as he's making it out to be. Oh, we lifted up our hands. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is awesome. I like this. Q's starting to get pretty full. Things are looking good. I'm happy with this. I think this is a good addition to the park. Check in again on teacups. Teacups Q is about the same. Hasn't changed much. Great looking Q. Okay, that's good news. People are saying great looking Q. Uh-oh. The wild blue has broken down, boys. Too many guests trying to use Chief B4. Okay, so, since we're actually making money now, the wild blue being broken down, that's gonna change that here in a second. But, oh, 13% of people are still saying it's too expensive. What's the prestige now? Has that gone down? It's not gonna show us the prestige because it's, it's being worked on. Let's change this to 23? $23? I feel like 23 is fair for that. What we're gonna have to do now is hire another vendor, I think, because obviously we're gonna have one that's gonna have to go take a break. So let's hire ourselves another vendor just to sort of relieve the other people and we'll change his, his color up here. I think they're white, white on white. No, 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 black hat, that's right. Black hat, white shirt white shorts and is that his pants or his hang on a second i gotta get in here so i can see what i'm doing there we go okay yeah he looks about the same as everyone else now that should work out it's like this job was made for me they say matthew Rees. all right dude he's gonna be a good fit oh we have to change his roster as well we made a roster specifically for the vendors so, let's see, change this for vendors, all right. That'll work out good. We got this vendor leaving right here, Socorro. $80 a month is what we're paying these people. Okay, so now we have a vendor going back in to fill the spot, that should work out perfectly. Where are these people getting hats? I'm not selling hats yet. Dude's got a crown, maybe he's just a king. Maybe we're in the, the presence of royalty and we don't even know it yet. Joe Sorox. Is that how you would Shore Shore Rocks the third? There we go. Now he's royalty. Made another wish come true. Another dream come true here. Holy crap. Dude, this is one hell of a ride right here. Okay, we have to change the color configuration for the ticket booth as well. Gasoline green hat. Uh shirt will be regular lime green and then white pants and black belt. There we go. Now they're twinsies. This queue is is filling up quickly. I think we're going to have to is a really good value. Is that right? Well, how would you feel about $20? Actually, maybe we should make it a little bit higher. Let's try 22. What's the prestige on this thing? 892. Okay. What's the prestige on Wild Blue? 879. Okay, so this this one has to be way more expensive. We Kind of messed up and let a couple people go through for stupid cheap. Let's make this one $25 since we had to make the uh, the wild blue ride 23 and I think we'll be making more money. Oh yeah, dude. Monthly profit is now 3200 bucks. We are killing it now. As soon as you get like started and you at least have one, maybe two rides in the park, 
the money starts to flow in. So we're doing super good now. We got 4,700 bucks in the bank, 48 now, and it's just gonna keep going up, dude. We ain't slowing down. So what I think we should do, what I think we should do, I got like mush mouth. Uh, let's go to all staff. So I'm gonna pay $150 now that we have all this money to upgrade our staff. So I'm gonna do staff training on all of our vendors because that's stupid cheap. You'd be dumb not to do that. Ron Shipley, Matthew, Matthew Rees, that's our new boy right there. And with that, they're probably gonna expect a pay raise. So let's do 85 bucks for each individual here that we just sent to training. 85 there, and even you, Matthew, you're getting 85 buckaroonies. And that should help out with our total staff happiness. I'm getting a little tired. I could do with a rest, okay. Well, he's pretty happy, but he is he is under a high workload. That's our janitor right there, Darrell. Is it Darrell DeVries or is it Daryl? That's the real question. Uh, I'm really busy right now at the moment serving customers. Okay, that kind of makes sense. And then our mechanic, I don't think we'll have to upgrade for a long time. Not until a bunch of rides start breaking down. They really don't have to do much, but we have to pay them the most for whatever reason. I guess they went to school, so they have a degree. They're like, you know what, I'm... I'm worth more. <laughs> okay, uh, Daryl or Darrell. I'm actually gonna call him Darrell because that sounds sick. Um, let's see, what should we do with Darrell? Maybe we should train Darrell up a little bit more. 60 bucks, dude, the vendors make more than this guy. Okay, let's let's up your pay, Darrell. Since you're the OG, we're gonna do 75 bucks for you, dude. You mean a lot to the company, to the empire that we've been building here. Darrell's gonna go get some some learned up. He kind of looks like a Durrell. I dig that. You do you, Durrell. Keep being you, bro. All right, well, the queue for Hyper Jump is still insane. Are we making some buck on this thing? Dude, yes we are. Two grand lifetime profit. That's astounding. We got 5,600 bucks now. This is going way better than I thought it was, but I do think that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Leave a comment. Help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.